My name is uh, Theodor Balan and I'm a PhD student. I like working as a statistician because we try to find explanations when the obvious explanation is not enough. A project that we are currently working on is about high blood pressure. At an age around 50, you're at a higher risk of dying if you have high blood pressure at 50. However, at a later age, at around 85, it seems that having high blood pressure does not make a difference in your prognosis anymore. The first explanation about this is that something changes inside the human body which causes this decrease in risk. Another explanation which I propose is that at age 50 we have low blood pressure patients and high blood pressure patients. But these high blood pressure patients, they can be strong or weak. At age 85, the low blood pressure patients are still there. The strong ones will make it there. However, the weak will not be in the population at 85. It's just a comparison between different populations, in fact. It's not a change in risk. There are competing explanations for observed phenomena. We are trying to understand which one is the true one. The average working day includes a lot of coffee, but also theoretical statistics and developing some practical models for applications, programming and consultation work with clinicians. I completed my bachelor studies in Romania in mathematics. I wanted to move towards real-world applications. Then I found the master program in Leiden and next thing you know, there I was in Leiden walking on the streets and trying to figure out where the supermarket is. We had professors from several universities, from very different backgrounds. In theoretical terms, about very practical problems. We worked a lot in teams and that was a really interesting experience, working with people coming from pharmaceutical science or biology or uh, social sciences together. It was a really rewarding experience. I had a very strong interest in biostatistics and in medical applications. The master project turned out to be bigger than just a master thesis, so I was offered a PhD position at the end of my studies, and here I am.